Hello and welcome to eDoc Builder training series. In this lesson, we will cover the use of font library tab. We will begin by logging into eDoc Builder. Based on your geographical location, your eDoc Builder admin URL can be different. For some subscribers, it can be creator.edocbuilder.com. For some, it can be creator-sg.edocbuilder.com. And for some, it can be creator-ams.edocbuilder.com. Please check your welcome letter to know the correct URL that will allow you to access your eDoc Builder. Now, let's log in to eDoc Builder. In order to access your font library, go to Libraries drop-down, and from here, select Font Library. The font library is an eDoc Builder's centralized storage area for font files. Fonts that you upload in this tab can be accessed by each template in your eDoc Builder account. This eliminates the need to upload the same files to multiple templates. Please note, this does not mean that fonts uploaded to the library are available to your customers in every template. You control which fonts are available for use on per template basis. The font library is simply an easy way to upload and store files that will be used by more than one template. You can also use the font library tab to select which base fonts should be available for your template to access in the font library section. Upload one or more font files to make them accessible to each template. You can select multiple files at once from the dialog box after clicking select or simply drag and drop the files from your computer. To delete the font from the library, check the box next to them and click delete selected. Check the Show Advanced Option box to see options that will provide more control on how the fonts are used in the production file. After checking this box, you can select for each uploaded font whether you would like the encoding to be Unicode or Latin. If you are using Japanese, Chinese, you can select the encoding to be Japanese, simple or traditional Chinese or Korean. Also decide whether you would like the fonts to be embedded full or just the subset needed for the template or not embed the font at all. Choosing Unicode or Latin for the encoding option is dependent on how the fonts are created. Tip. If the production PDF is displaying the font incorrectly, try changing the encoding to Latin from Unicode. The embedding option be to embed full if you are seeing any individual characters drop out on the production PDF. It is important to be sure to scroll down and click on Save font option after making any changes in the font library tab. Once you have uploaded fonts to the font library, you can enable them on template by template basis. Go to assets of your template and select font option. You will find the font library section, the base font section. You can select, you can check the box of the font that you would like to show on the template. If you do not want the, want the base font to show up on any of your template, simply uncheck this box. 
checking or unchecking the box will decide what fonts are available for your templates and what fonts are not. Make sure to click on Save Font Options after making any changes here. Thank you for watching the Font Library tab training video. As with any of our videos, please contact our support department if you feel any of these information was unclear, have any suggestions of what we can add to make things easier for you to understand.